Well, I want to end on one final note here because you are the next generation. And of course, one of the things the trade minister made in his opening remarks, the point was that we have to really attract talent. It's very important for the shipping industry. You know, you mentioned the, the need for, for more women, but in general, how are you going to really attract those bright MBAs to go into to, to shipping? I mean, you're obviously very passionate about it, but how would you sell your story? Yeah. I think the shipping is truly global. It's so much in the whole global economy, and it's very exciting when you work. Whatever happens around the globe, you're sort of part of it. That's really, really interesting. In addition, you get large responsibilities. It's huge money at stake, and relatively young people as us are able to participate in this. I think that's a great opportunity. Cecile. Also, it's a relationship business, and it's fun. Okay. Cecile? Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference, you know, if you have an MBA or not, as long as you attract good talent and people who are willing to, you know, work a lot. Okay. Thomas, you grew up in it, but how are you going to attract some of your colleagues you knew at business school? Yeah? I think what Birgit is saying, uh, it's, it's an interesting business. You're, uh, you're really there at the mercy of the <coughs> global economy and how you position yourself according to that. A uh, lot of transactions. I, I think it's a bit of a myth that uh, this uh, industry can't attract good MBA or other type of talent. I think we can. Uh, I think we, mo most of us would see in, in our organizations, we do have that type of talent. It's you also, talk, yeah. It's also very relative to where you operate. I mean, we operate in Greece and, and we've been going through some tough times lately. So, I mean, shipping is basically the only industry in Greece that uh, functions properly and is uh, profitable at this time. So. I mean, if you can imagine the amount of CVs we receive every day, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Shipping is a Euro savior, all right, yeah. yeah. I think it's very important to align uh, the interests of the company uh, with the interests of the employees and maybe grant them uh, stock options or give them shares of the company. We also need to promote, you know, teamwork, dedication, and be loyal to our employees and to our seafarers, and then if we are loyal to them, they're gonna be loyal to us as well. Okay. I think there's a lot of reason to be optimistic with this next generation of leaders. You know, the idea of transparency, less nepotism, more uh, meritocracy, more emphasis on, on, on technology. Let's give them all a very big round of applause for a very stimulating discussion. Yeah. Thank you.